Today we're going to be going over all the Air Jordan releases set to drop this month in February and honestly I'm excited because we got some classics and over 15 different drops. So let's go ahead and get started with the first shoe. First up we have the Air Jordan 1 Low OG Golf Noble Green. So these right here are a golf shoe actually it has a golf bottom on them mm -hmm. and a lot of people are going to try to get away with actually just wearing them as tennis shoes as well it look like but it it's kind of like a mixed shoes on it. Yeah. What do you think about these? I think it's a cool looking shoe. I think you can get away with wearing those. I think it would. I think you could just wear those round and round. Trying to finesse them in the street? Yeah, I think so. <laughs> so I they, think so. They've done some other colorways with some OG colorways, but just in the golf version, mm -hmm. and people have been doing that, and it's like a more affordable option. Right. So the retail on these is like a hundred and it's a low, it's 140 bucks. And instead of getting like the actual retro bottom with the with the Jordan One bottom mm -hmm. on her, and it being worth you know four or five hundred bucks, they can get these for one hundred and forty. They might be going for around that same price. Right. And they can still save that money and wear the shoe. So we are seeing people actually wearing these as sneakers as well. That's a smart move. Smart smart move by Nike Jordan brand whatever. So what would you rate those out of ten? <sighs> out of ten for a golf shoe. Considering it's a golf shoe, I give it a ten. A ten. Considering it's a golf shoe. Okay. If it was a shoe that I was just gonna wear and I was gonna cop it, right. I'd give it like an eight. Okay. But you'd be super fly on the, you know, on the yeah. course yeah. with those. Okay. All right. All right. I respect it. I think it's a solid shoe too. Yeah. I don't know if I'm gonna be going after it, but at the same time, I definitely like. I like right. it. I respect it. I got no problem with it. Yeah. We have the Air Jordan Two in the lucky green colorway. So similar to the Chicago, with the same kind of color blocking on this mm -hmm. shoe with the mm -hmm. red. You got the green instead, giving that kind of Celtics vibe. What do you think about these? I wouldn't do the green. You don't like these? No, I don't do the green. No. What? That green, what you gonna wear it with? I think these are clean. First off, I'm a Ducks fan, so you know me. This, if it's a green or a yellow. Is the bottom gray? It's a gray bottom. That's what I'm saying. It's similar to the OG. It's just switched with you the red. You don't do green and gray. gray? What do you mean? Green and gray? You can't even figure out which green and gray <laughs> is. Hey, those two right there. <laughs> No, no, I'm just saying, like, I wouldn't do those colors together. Okay, so the gray bottom is what's throwing you off. Throwing me off. You can if it was a black bottom, bottom, now we own this something. A black bottom. A black bottom. So it went from a complete no cop to just switch the little bottom part right there. and you Then it's a cop. Out. That's crazy. For sure. Okay. Well, I mean, hey, at the end of the day, buy what you like. You know what I'm saying? Hey, y'all see that in black bottom paint them or okay, something. Okay, I get that. I get that. That's cool. I think for me, it's going to be a really dope shoe. Uh, they're going to come out. I don't think they're going to really like sell out like that. There's not like a lot of sit. hype behind Jordan 2s. They're going to sit. And my goal is to be able to get these for discounted price or something like yeah, that when sure. it comes to this release. Green and gray, it's going to sit. This next one right here is a New Orleans PE for Chris Paul mm -hmm. that then became a retro for the first time coming out to the public as a GR now. Right. But they don't have the Chris Paul logo. I was gonna say what about the materials? They went cheaper. And the materials. quality's not gonna be the same yeah. as the PE. But what I'm saying is this is basically the New Orleans Air Jordan 5 right here. That's a cop. What do you That's think about good. those? That's good. Yeah, I can work that. I think these are hard and I don't, the reason why I like these so much is because mm -hmm. The North Carolina Fives that came out 15 years ago or something like that, right. very similar to this shoe. It just had the baby blue on there. And I want to see that shoe retro because I can't get that one. I'm glad this one is coming out because this yeah. is also basically like the Chris Paul PE, except for now you just don't have the number on the side of the shoe. Right. And it's not the right. branded as a PE. And it's going to save situation. you like five grand or something. Right. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So I think when it comes to this shoe right here, it's dope to see a PE come to life as a GR in that Which situation. Which is pretty rare though on yeah. some of those, mm -hmm. you know, like that. Yeah, no, that's good. So I think I think it's definitely um, a good release. I don't know about it selling out. What do you think about it selling out? I don't think it's going to sell out. Because I don't think people like fives like that. $200 is a retail. That's a little high. I think if they came in at like 179, mm -hmm. you know, 180. Mm -hmm. Then I think they build better. Sometimes that twenty dollar mark is a make or break a shoe. Yeah, you know. Now this is definitely a clean shoe for sure. It's I a think. Clean shoe. I think this is one of those like if you like the shoe and you get the shoe, you're gonna be happy with it type situation. Right. You're not gonna have to worry about working too hard to get it. But, but at the same it. time, stop being lazy and you know at least go try to get the shoe if you want to get right. the shoe. Right. Don't complain if you didn't get it and then that, you're like you could have got the shoe, right. bro. I think it's one of those type of situations. Um, Next up right here, we have a collaboration. So Union collabs with Jordan Brand with Nike. They have right. different uh, releases in the past. The Union ones really set the tone. And then a lot of people saying, it's kind of fallen off a little bit ever since then. The releases yep. after that, it's just, they weren't as good. 
So they're trying to revive it, bring back energy towards the Jordan collaborations. Yeah. And these are the two colorways right here. So it's an OG one low um, in the gray right here and then the black right here. I can zoom in on each or either one that you're I don't think, to me, I don't think either shoe, this is me, is really all that. I think it's very simple. Mm -hmm. It looked like it's going to get dirty and you ain't going to be able to wear it. Mm -hmm. You're going to be mad. I think it's a great summertime shoe. I think it's, yes, you're going to get, it's going to get dirty and those different things. But some people might appreciate it still when it does kind of have that like used vintage type of look. Which again, you don't like the vintage uh, look. No. <laughs> But <laughs> no, <laughs> people like that look, and I think this can fall into that aesthetic. The swoosh uh, is Velcro right here, so uh -huh. that comes off and it flips over. And then you got the different options. That's right another here. thing I wish they hate. They, they stop doing. Yep. Yeah, and this one's like a leather right here yeah. with the suede, and then you got that navy swoosh. So these ones in particular, those would be better. Th these would be a lot nicer. But if it's uh, the same as the other one. But the ones with the canvas on the upper or something for like you really not feeling that much. No. Okay. So this is the OG uh, AJKO in the low top version with the collaboration. They're trying to bring some hype behind it. I'm interested to see what happens in the market. They're supposed to be around 150 bucks retail. I think they're sure. gonna see it and I'll give them like a six. Six? Okay, I can see that. <laughs> Honestly, yeah, I, I think the people, again, in this situation is gonna be like, not as many people, but there's gonna be a lot of people that do like it. And then there's gonna be a lot of people that's just like, I'm good, bro. Like, I'd rather save my money and go yeah. get something else. Cause it don't have a look it. like a, like a grown man's shoe. Mm -hmm. It's kind of look like an older man's shoe. Mm -hmm. Then a, then like, you know, somebody 30 to 40. Right. I get that. You know? So next up right here is building up a lot of anticipation for the release that's going to be coming out. Uh, I think what it's next month it or something like that. Uh -huh. But either way, this is a golf shoe, black and white air Jordan oh, really? one, high top golf. You got the jump man on the tongue. I'm assuming there's a jump man on the back of the shoe as well. Typically when they do the retro versions, they put the jump man instead of the Nike air. And uh, I don't know if, oh, there's no jump man on the heel. Okay. So, but it's more of the retro style. So because it doesn't have that OG cut and everything causes people not to like it. But at the same time, it's going to be similar to that same color blocking as that as we call it, some people call it panda color blocking. That's what I was going, that's panda all the but way. But at the end of the day, the OG Air Jordan 1 did come in the black and white colorway. Right. They switched it up a little bit around the collar on the back end and they made it all black right here with the two different panels. That way they can show the difference between the golf shoe and then the release that's gonna be coming right. out the month after. That way the people that's like, oh, you couldn't get that, but you can still get this type right. of situation. Right. So what do you think about these as golf I shoes? I think it's a strong rocker for a golf shoe. It'd be dope. Uh, you're out there and people wouldn't even pay attention that they're golf shoes while you're out there. Right. Like the other pair. And I think it's a cop for golf. Like it's gonna help them out in the industry. Yeah. And yeah. get more people out there wearing you know, that kind of product. You've seen a big push, mm -hmm. uh, definitely like at this time at the beginning of the year, we're gonna see a lot more pushing towards getting people with the golf shoes. Yeah. That way they already got them in hand. Summertime comes around and like, who have been waiting to bust these out? Right, right. So it makes a lot of sense to see that being pushed uh, each month. Yeah. So next up right here, we got the Zoom Comfort Air Jordan 1. So you saw the dude when we was out in New York and he was wearing the shoes and you're like, what are those? Oh, so yeah, the yeah, yeah. Zoom Comfort is kind of what the shoe is. So the way they make the shoe is just a little bit different. Uh, configuration uh -huh. is a little bit different than your OG style Air Jordan yeah. 1. So for the these, materials look good yeah, you see it says Zoom Air instead of Nike Air. They right. put the Zoom unit on the bottom. So it's an air unit on there. It's a lot more comfortable shoe. Um, people is gonna love that aspect. So what do you think about the materials? And this is the Valentine's Day drop. I'm just curious what what the color is going on with the swish. Is that right? Well, it's just like a it's like a kind of like a velvety <laughs> material. Oh, so, so I was supposed the, to do the that. The lighting just makes. Oh, it look okay. Because like, I'm like, yeah. what is going on? No, with it's this? gonna be the same as like this right here. Okay, okay. Yeah. Then it's good. I'll take it. Yeah. I'll give it a nine. Red and white I, shoe. I think it's a good looking shoe. Would you cop these? I would cop them, but I will wait. Wait. Okay. I'm not gonna rush out to get them. Mm -hmm. You know, I might have a chance. You know, I might get them cheaper or something, but. I ain't gonna rush to get them. I think it's just, for me, it's like, it's just too much. I get it, it's the Valentine's drop, and it's dope, like, look at, I think they put the hearts on the top too. Oh, I can't tell if they did right here. But they got it on the insoles, and it's like- I like that, anytime, anywhere. anywhere. Right, it's dope. That's dope. And they got, you know what I'm saying, they got the little elements, but I don't know. For me, it's just not a cop. It's dope how they got the tongue on the, yeah, you know what I'm saying, with the heart, with the on, heart the on the tongue on and everything. They got it like, not, I think they a did a good job. Hints of nice stuff and everything, but again, I'm not gonna rush out to get them. Yeah, I feel that. You know, if you, if you just was like, 
you know, had a chance you going by the store and they was in a lower price store. You know, like, like oh, okay, yeah, oh, yeah, just get them. Yeah, yeah, but get that. yeah, not rushing. And go, oh, I gotta rush to get those. Not doing that. So this is the seafoam colorway. They've been doing this like, especially with the women's drops. This is a women's Air Jordan Four. Right. Um. So it's gonna be. I'm not sure if, what the sizing is on this. How big the sizes go up to. I'm not sure if it's extended sizes or not. Uh, retail is gonna be two hundred and ten dollars. That's too for much. These right here. I think you got your classic color blocking it's of a girl, Fire Red 4. You know what I'm saying? That's great. Yeah. The color blocking is great. You can literally take any OG color blocking and throw a color on it. Boom, you're good. You can't you can't go wrong. You can do purple, blue, blue green, whatever. Everything. And it's always gonna hit. Right. But at the same day, at the same time, what do you think about this specific type of green? This green, this colorway, it looks dope. It looks good. Especially for girls. It's kind of like that muted color. Right. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's not too It looks poppy. dope. The yeah. whole shoe. But at $200, for me, that's too much for a girl's shoe. Yeah. I feel that. It's, it's gonna a be small. Smaller, you, know, <laughs> <laughs> you pay them more money for less product. Right. It right. was like our size, like 13, 14. I get it. Right. But a size eight, this little shoe like this, yeah. little seven. Like, no, no. Can't do it. No. <laughs> I feel that. So these are going to come out, and I think these are going to sell out. I think mm -hmm. the men that can get them in the extended sizes or the people that have the smaller foot that wear like, cause it usually goes up to like 11 in men's or 10 and a half oh, or yeah. something like that. Uh, it, if they can fit that, they're like, oh yeah, I'm all over it. So it makes sense too on that aspect. And I think, yeah, these are gonna go quick. The resale is gonna yeah, be Yeah, those are not gonna sit. The Jordan 4s are hot. Like we know that yeah. those are trending more yeah. than the ones right now. It makes yeah. a lot of sense why that shoe uh, would have a big demand behind but it. But it's a good looking shoe. So this yeah, next one right here, a lot of people have been asking me questions and thoughts and opinions what about it. Hell? <laughs> oh, go ahead. So <laughs> these are the men's Jordan 4s, the Craft. So these in particular, materials, nice. They did a yeah. really good job on the shoe. Uh, it's just a little different. It's kind of like got that Frankenstein some... vibe to it, right? What they like, do to that? They added the little stitching in the middle of the foot yeah. right here. They switched up the materials right here where the nets normally no. go. You got the suede's in the different areas. You know what I'm saying? The new bucks, whatever you got right here on the different materials. So what do you think about these? They blew it. <laughs> I think they blew it. You start, you go too far away from what the shoe looked like. Yeah. You start messing with it, and then you just take everything from it. Yeah. Now it look like a knockoff shoe that you wouldn't copy. Like that's a fake. Like I wouldn't wear it. I feel that. I feel that. You know, it's like a shoe trying to be a shoe. Yeah. Nah. I don't that. do that. I get that. So what's the retail? Two hundred and ten bucks. Oh, forget that. Eighty nine dollars. Eighty nine dollars. Oh, they got the little patch on the side right here in the back. The patch here. did it, right? Yeah, no. I was like I don't want that. <laughs> He's like, on to the next shoe. <laughs> they blew that. <laughs> All right, hey, sorry. I would not purchase those with somebody else's money. <laughs> <laughs> okay, on the release calendar, I couldn't remember if it was February or March, but I think it says right here, February. Looks like All-Star Weekend drop. You got the black and white OG 85 cut Air Jordan 1. Remember I was talking about the white This panels is the golf right shoe here? over again. No, this is the actual shoe. The golf shoe is an imitation of this shoe. <laughs> and that that's what I'm saying. Remember the remember I said it was black oh, yeah, on the yeah, back yeah, right yeah, here? Yeah, yeah, yeah. This yeah. is the OG. Right. This is nobody don't call these pandas. Don't disrespect this shoe. Don't. This is what I'm talking about right here. This is the OG. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. So we saw these back in the 85 era. They're bringing it back now. You cannot go wrong with this shoe. What's I you know shoe? you can't go wrong with the pandas either, all that other stuff. But this one in particular. Definitely gotta have them in my collection. Cause yeah. I got the other ones too. I got the red. Oh, for too, sure. So no, it's a good looking shoe. It's working. That one ain't gonna last long either. No, it's gonna. Stop. Everybody's asking. And it's gonna me. go up. Would you wear so, those? For sure. You want those? Definitely. Okay. This, without a doubt, I would want these. Anybody got a size 14? <laughs> size 14. See your boy. <laughs> for a good price. Don't be trying to tax. <laughs> <laughs> All, right. All right, next up right here. So, you know, Jordan went to Laney High School and this right. is the reverse Laney. So they had the first one that came out and the colors were reversed. So the blue is where the yellow, the yellow is where the mm -hmm, blue. Mm -hmm. So now this is called the reverse colorway. Um, they switched it up. I think the other one was like a suede and then this one is a leather version as well. So they switched up to materials, but this is your high school colors. I was gonna say that looked like my high school colors. So <laughs> I got a strong feeling you want. This I shirt. want these because <laughs> I go with my lettersman jacket with them out there flexing. <laughs> oh my god, they won't even know. So you like these? Oh, for sure. I think the retail went up. Oh, see, this is the this is the first one. See how they had the suede and everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Honestly, I wish they would have did that again with the thread and with. Oh, right with there. the blue stitch. Yeah. No, but honestly, I think I like this one more than I like the first one. 
I don't know. I feel I like know. go back again one more time. I one think more time. It's, I think it's this is the first one. You got the yellow with the yeah, leather, the blue. Yeah, for sure. I think the second this one looks better. This one's better. I think so. Second one's better. Because the first one when it came out, I, it was I wasn't really feeling no, it. No. This one, I'm actually willing to give a chance. I want to give this one sure. a chance. Definitely better. Let's see what the retail is on these things. 180 bucks. So retail used to be 160, yes. then it went up to 170, now it's 180. Well, for me, I'd say yes for 180 for me because mm -hmm. that's my school colors. Yeah. But they so can got, go back to 160 for everybody else you because got that emotional tag. Well, yeah, because yeah. I would have that emotional. Most people not. They're right. gonna say, it's just you know, blue. Just another you know, shoe. Like, uh, what am I gonna wear with that? Right. Yeah. So then they don't. No. So do you think those will sit on shelves? Because yes. I got a, I got a feeling they might sit on shelves. Yes. Okay. I was just I wondering. Think they're not I, gonna, I, I think they're not gonna fly off I the think shelf. they will too. Now let's take it to the next one right here. Classic OG banger. Another one, like I said, Ooh. we got some good releases this month. Right. That's all I'm talking about right here. I actually just got my pair today. Did you? Yeah, they're, in, you? The, they're in the mail. Was you? Don't worry. They'll be I, here soon. They'll be I, here soon. Uh, anyways, these are so clean. The playoff 13s. <laughs> Oh, these are so you can't go wrong with these. You can't go wrong with these. The colorway is dope. My last pair that I had, I tore up and I ended up just getting rid of them because they just got tore up. And I right, was like, right. I'll get another pair. And I just never did. But and it's I was a like, durable they're gonna shoe. retro. They're going to retro. And yeah. then they finally retro. So now I'm happy to finally be able to get these back in my yeah. collection. It's been a while since I've been able to wear this shoe. I like these a lot. A lot. This is a good looking shoe. What you rate They these? did great. What'd that that get 11. 11 out of 10. That get 11. What's the retail on these? 210 bucks. You know us with the all blacks or the like uh, all reds. These Those are two are gonna usually get a higher nah, rating. Yeah, they did a really good job on this shoe. That's a good looking shoe. I think any of the OG heads out there, they're gonna go crazy. I think any of the new heads out there, they're gonna like this shoe still and be like, it's a clean shoe. They love 13s either way. Yeah. And it's all black. It's a lot easier to wear. People like this. I really like these though. And then the white pods on the bottom, they just yeah. really pop. They really pop. Yeah. There's nothing. And then the red bottom underneath that to just make it hit even more. Oh, they it's did good. They did it. Man. They did amazing. That's amazing colorway right Look, Bobo said amazing that at the same time. Nice. <laughs> okay. So you got the Luca. You know, uh -huh. Luca's on Jordan brand. Yeah. So you got Tatum, Zion, Luca. They're really pushing a lot of energy behind that. They got the Luca One Safari colorway coming out right here. So you got that Safari print with the orange and everything. This is a basketball performance <sighs> sneaker. So it's kind of hard to say because you don't know how it performs. But what do you think about these as a basketball shoe? First off, I told you this before. They need to stop making low top shoes like this for basketball. <laughs> Look how many dudes just spraining the ankles. Anyway, it's a decent looking shoe. I don't like that bottom right here. Like the, the midsole? Yeah, right with the, that with part. With the orange? Right there. Yeah. Or the white part? Like the whole makeup of that. Okay. But the top part of the shoe, it looks like the original Jordan one that we were just talking about with Harold. Okay. Right? It looked kind of like that for me on that. Okay. So to me, the shoe looks good. Mm -hmm. It'll get a seven. I'm not going to go buy it. You know, okay. it wouldn't be something like that I would rush out and get. No. What is the retail? 110 bucks. See, they even said it with the pricing. Good basketball shoe. This is not, it's not here for fashion off the court. I don't think it's meant for fashion off the court just yet. It's for you performance. Because like, even like, if you look at the LeBrons and all yeah. that type of stuff, it, people were wearing them off court, like, you know, 10 years ago. Yeah. But then it became like, are you hooping in these or not? Like people aren't really wearing them in their daily rotations like that yeah. anymore with like lifestyle outfits anymore. So I don't know. I just, when it comes to performance basketball shoes that are really like performance, it's a whole different game. And I know, yes, you can say Jordans are basketball shoes, but I think they're definitely more built for lifestyle. And yeah, the technology sure. back then compared to now is way, way different, different when it comes yeah, to that. Yeah. So I don't know. But that... I'm just still not happy with the low top though. Yeah. For a performance shoe. If you're just gonna get it and walk around with it, yeah. it's clean. Okay, I got you. So we got the Air Jordan 2 Craft right here. I'm not sure if this is a men's or a women's Ooh. colorway. I think this is a men's drop right here. So this right here, you got the you got the white, you got the brown, you got the sail color. What do you think about these? Don't do this. Don't do it. <laughs> What, what was they thinking? Okay, honestly, I would pass on these two. But for sure. I don't think I need these in my collection. Um, I have a lot of the twos that I already like. I just like the OGs the most. If it's going right. to be a different, like, I need it to be something. I think I like, feel like they're reaching. they reaching with certain colors. Like, Pushing. oh, we're going to introduce this. Yeah. Stop it. Keep us the basic stuff. <laughs> and so you can sell the shoe. You're going to be sitting on the shelf. I got you. I don't know. Hey, I'm, I'm I got not, a four. I'm not. <laughs> yeah. 
Do not a, cop those. You just ranked them a four out of ten. <laughs> Sheesh. No. I feel like we're butchering a lot of shoes this month. <laughs> no. They this coming is... out with shoes. That don't mean they coming out with good shoes. Ain't been on too many videos. He's starting to become a tough critic, y'all. <laughs> All right. This one right here, I'm really excited about, actually. Right. I want to see the materials and how they just... I, this is... I don't even know if it's a shoe that you rock, but more of like a, just a collector type sneaker. I think both. I haven't really determined that I yet. I think both. You got to see it, how it feels, both. like on, on with the outfit and both. everything. But you got the three, what are they called? Yeah, they're just calling them the elephant ones. Okay, so these are the elephant print Air Jordan ones. And it looks like shoe. the texture is pretty thick, where it's not real smooth. Oh yeah, no, they like switched the, the material. Print so is like thicker. They switched the elephant print and the materials, and they got a whole new pattern that they're running yeah. now uh, yeah. for the future. So this is gonna be like, we're gonna be able to see this, and then like on the new future Air Jordan 3s that come out, uh -huh. that we're gonna see a whole new thing. So all the stuff that we saw in the past few years with the retros, right. there's gonna be a whole new style, trying to get closer to that OG print um when it comes to it so yeah because this is kind of like that debut of it but some people might see the shoes and because of the way that it's printed there might be like even if you look at it right here so see what this oh that's just you see it's more thing. defined yeah, around yeah. here and a little bit more faint right here right it's kind of how it is so it's going to have those mixtures throughout the shoes and every shoe may not even look the exact same where the lines and the cracks are oh, at dope. because they're all going to be kind of unique in the way they uh cut the materials and everything so mm -hmm. it's going to be kind of dope to just see it and uh, you know, you might grab two out the box at the store. A different. You'd be like, I want this right foot and this left foot and uh, put them together. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Shh, we can't tell people about the secrets. No, we didn't bought shoes that had two left feet in yeah. the box. You're like, how do you do Everybody that? Do that. <laughs> nah, one, hey, one pro tip. If you're ever shopping at the outlets or anything like that and you see multiple shoes in your size, go through the shoes look at them take the right foot okay cool this one looks really good oh that left foot that doesn't look good oh that left foot that doesn't look good oh that left foot, oh this one looks good then you can match it up and have like two but make really nice sure shoes. you got two I mean, well, one yeah, left obviously. one right but, the, but you see people do that yeah. and you get a box with two left feet or there. <laughs> <laughs> no but when you do that though you can literally have like the best versions right of that so right. i don't know that's just something to think about it's a easy little thing you can do when you're out shopping. Mm -hmm. It's not like you're doing anything wrong. You're literally just like, I want this one and that one. Right. Like, it's the same shoe, same size. Everything's good. Okay. Last on the list right here, we got a clean shoe. Oh, we didn't get that one rating. I get oh, that yeah. one a nine. Nine? Okay. I give it a nine. Uh, It'll sell. I would say somewhere around an eight. Yeah. I'm gonna see. I'm gonna see how I feel about it. But I think this is yeah. This is okay. last. Ooh. Last but not least, the Air Jordan Six Cool Gray. I think they did a very good job with this. <laughs> These I think are hard. this shoe right here is gonna kill it. I think. I don't think this shoe's gonna sit. I think this is gonna. I don't roll know. Out. I think it might still no. sit. No, it's not gonna sit. I, okay, I don't think it's gonna sell out everywhere. That's what I'm saying. I think yeah, certain cities, different demographics. Yeah, you're gonna see. Oh yeah, there's high traffic here. Yeah, obviously it's gonna sell. But I think there's gonna be those pockets where you can find the shoe for retail sitting on shelves, and you're gonna see the photo online. Like, what city is that in? They still got those. Yeah, cities? I just think like, most people like the cool, great, like that whole color vibe. I get that, but it's still a Jordan Six, and people, some people. But just the don't combination like on this is sick. I know. I love this. This is I sick. I like they did six. it. They did the dark tongue. Everything. That's dope. It's clean. I mean, no, nah, they did good. And the color bottoms. The icy bottoms. Yeah, nah, they not. Nah. Look at that. They got that the right there is gonna kill dark it. Dark gray paint. The leathers. That's not nice. gonna sit. I think it's just again, it comes down to like the Jordan Four is trendy. The Jordan One is trendy. Everybody's this is gonna be trendy. Sleeping and hating on the five, sixes, and sevens and eights, right? No, so yeah. when you see that. Like, yeah, obviously Jordan 11 Cool Gray is going to go crazy. We know that. Y'all yeah, let me know in the comments. Right. I'm interested I'm with this. You, tell me what you think on this one right here. And I'm going to get this one 11 again. This one right here is going to sell. Okay. I believe it's going to sell. So you need that in the 14. Is it 190? How much? You, what is it coming in? Uh, I think it's somewhere around there. I don't know. 190, 200 bucks. 200 bucks. 200. Yep. It's worth it. Especially so, in the 14. So how many shoes on the list that you was like looking at? Had, you have about like three or four that you like? Yeah, three. Okay. Three strong ones. And the rest ones was just like, eh, I'm good. Yeah, because again, I think they're trying to do too much to some of the shoes. Yeah, I feel that. And they, some, they look like knockoffs. But at the, at the same time too, we got to remember, not every shoe is for everybody. I understand that. So they didn't make all these shoes for you to buy all these shoes. For sure. So you got to- I'm the you, one rating them. But yeah. <laughs> But you gotta entertain all the different markets too. So we gotta understand that from the brand side yeah. too. And yeah. uh, if they've had success in different regions, they're like, oh, we know this is gonna work for these reasons. So 
it's always interesting to see that perspective yeah. as well from both sides but i think that's gonna do it we went through all the shoes let me know if you guys want to see any other videos with us together in the future and you already know at the beginning of every single month we go through all these releases and give you guys our opinions and breakdowns on the cost and the, and the ratings and all the different right. things and uh you got anything else to say before we go i will say this when the golf shoes come out we'll get a pair and i'll show y'all how i beat them in golf right all because of the shoes right Huh? Right. <laughs> That's where we end the video. <laughs> Trust me. He don't want that smoke. <laughs> oh, for sure. <laughs> he don't want I'll that smoke. I'll smack him. <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> Yo, before you go, I just launched my Sneakerhead Academy where we got everything on the inside. I teach you all the stuff that I learned over the past 15 years when it comes to sneakers, scaling, real estate, you name it. We talk about all of it in there. And there's an eight week program plus a bunch of monthly giveaways. I give away shoes literally way too much, honestly. But either way, I'll see you guys on the inside. Hit the link down below in my description or pinned in the comment section for DJ Sneakerhead Academy. And I'll see you guys over there. If you made it to the end of this video, drop a comment down below and let me know which team you think is gonna be winning the Super Bowl, the Chiefs or the Eagles. Go Steelers.